Hi, as you complete your group project, you may be wondering what exactly is peer review? Well, in the context of this course, it's an opportunity for you to improve your writing skills. When we are working on checkpoint two, the main goal is to write an editorial, but one of those goals is also to review your editorial or to have your editorial reviewed by a peer. So when you are reviewing, the first step is, of course, to submit your editorial. It's very important to submit your editorial on time. Do not turn the editorial in late. Even if it's not your final draft, even if it's incomplete, make sure that you turn it in on time because you do not want to miss the opportunity of peer review. Next, it will be your job to evaluate two other editorials. So when you complete your peer review, you will be randomly assigned two different editorials to read. This is why I tell you not to add your name or any identifying features to your submissions. You're going to be evaluating your peers based on these categories. You will give them a fake grade 0 to 100. For instance, if you really liked the paper, you can give them a 95 and say, hey, your paper was really great. You clearly stated the purpose. You provided a summary of the research article. You used correct in-text citations. You followed the formatting and the word count. But I felt like it wasn't quite engaging enough, so I took off five points. Or you can say, I really feel like this earned a 75. You could improve your uh, summary because it wasn't quite clear what you were talking about. Or I noticed that you didn't have any in-text citations, so I had to take off some points. Um, make sure that they stuck to the one page page limit or about 300 words times New Roman double spaced font. You want to evaluate them based on this criteria. So you are going to be providing a numerical grade as well as at least four complete sentences describing how they can improve. You want to mention things that they did right as well as ways that they can improve. And remember, you're hoping to get valuable feedback from this, so you want to give valuable feedback to your peers. The idea behind peer review is that everybody is going to get a score for submitting their editorial, but then you are going to use that peer review to improve your writing so that at the end of the assignment in your entire group project, you will have the best uh, results. So for your editorial, you are going to submit your editorial on time. I'm going to just submit a test run. Again, make sure that it is APA in-text citations, that it's 250 to 300 words long, and please don't include your name. We're going to submit late just so that I can show you what peer review looks like. Now, once I have submitted, I can either view my submission or I can complete a peer review. So once I go here, I'm going to be randomly assigned somebody else's editorial. Notice that their name is not visible, so it is anonymous. I'm going to meticulously read their work. I'm going to evaluate them. I'm going to make sure that they have in-text citations. I'm going to read their conclusion. I'm going to evaluate them. So over here on the right hand side, there's a column called feedback. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a numerical grade. So let's say that I evaluate this at about a 70. Then I need to write at least four complete sentences critiquing the work. So make sure that you complete this and make sure that you press submit because if you do not press submit, it will not evaluate your partner and you will not be able to receive a grade. Then we are going to go to peer number two and do the same thing and add feedback here. Once you are done, you will be able to view your own feedback by viewing the submission and the feedback from your peers will be here. This is what you will use to improve your paper. This is what you're going to use to improve your paper. That way you can make sure to turn in the best possible version of your work at the end of the core checkpoint three. 
So please use this peer review seriously. Be kind and respectful, but also be constructive. You want to include both positive things and things that your peers can improve on. Once you complete two peer reviews, then you will receive a grade for completing the peer review. So everyone should get a 100 on the peer review as long as they turn their editorial in on time and complete two peer reviews. And the purpose of that peer review is to utilize that feedback to improve your work for the next point or the next checkpoint in the project.